Duck! Marty, it's Doc Brown. Come out to the parking lot. I've got something to show you. And don't forget to bring my laptop. Sure, I could be running. In SolidWorks, time to test out the functionality. You create a time machine from a Prius? We know how expensive a DeLorean is to rent. You rented this? Don't worry, it's a... Outstanding. Every designer should be on Cloud9 with those capabilities. Well, this design is looking okay so far. What else have you got for me? For some extra polish, we can also adjust camera views along the timeline of the video. And that's provides some truly stunning footage of your departure. You know what? I like your idea, but why would you pick a road with a building in the end? Oh, don't worry. Look, okay, just to be safe, you'll notice I've timed the return of the trip to take advantage of some natural energy source to give the flux capacitor that added boost. That's shocking, Doc. <laughs> Feel the time. I can switch to a back from the envelope, back to a regular part, or vice versa. So, with the envelope at this level, I can check and make sure we have this right clearance between this fin and the lid, without having the entire assembly open. I think that looks good. Yeah, but what about in the drawing? This is just going to get all messed up with an extra lid around. No, not at all. Let me show you. Envelope parts get a phantom line treatment. So you can custom that you can also customise. And, of course, it's clearly from a bit of materials. So you can easily get the context of the design that you're working on without the complication of regular parts. Okay, that, that, that's really neat, but what about the top level assemblies then? Aren't you going to have two lids? No. Envelope parts are automatically hidden at higher levels. So there's no added clutter. Take a look. I've hidden those components, and the envelope we use is not shown. But while we're here, let's finish off this design with some hardware. Another great feature in 2013 is the ability to insert multiple components all at once. Great Scott, that's amazing! It's pretty cool, but you just get prompted to insert the components one after the other. So, it's a snap to finish off those designs and say design and Wow, you know, you look like a child's those capabilities. You know, you seem a little bit too focused on just making it look pretty. However, your interference reminded me, we need to do just that. What? Interfering threads? That's not a problem, that's what I intended. But, just as well with SolarWorks 2013, we can actually find any matching threads so they don't clutter up the real interfering issues. But, oh, that just shows that I didn't put dowel holes in the mounting plate. Oh. Well, Doc, I might not be the engineer that you are, but we've got SolarWorks 2013, which now has dowel holes as part of the hole wizard. So, you don't need to remember all those sizes. Excellent. Well, maybe I can get back to memorising all my online passwords. You know, and watch this, Doc. When you're ready to detail these in a 2D drawing, those dial holes, you know, SolidWorks has done the job for you. Wow. And you can automatically have them appear when you create new views. Great! Scott? Amazing! Did SolidWorks create mind reading technology where you came from? And We can use a couple of great tools in SOLIDWORKS 2013 to take advantage of that. And normally when using surfaces, you can only take material away. That's a thing of the past in 2013. Using the surface intersect tool, not only can you remove material, but add material at the same time as well. So not just cutting out the scallops, but also ex extending the board material to make the ends of those teeth. Just pick the body region you don't want to keep, and you're good to go. That is pretty cool, Doc. You're really going to save a lot of time finishing off the design shapes. Right, but there are other cool tools we can use to help out as well. Let's take a look at those engines, and maybe we want to try a different fin vane design. What I really love is that Thin Extrude now supports multiple contours. So with just one click on the sketch, I'm good to go. But you know what? Something else in 2013 they added was the ability to directly enter equations in any property manager. So, for example, I can tie the web thickness to the height of the vane. But what, what does this mean for the design? Well, as I adjust the vane height, the thickness is going to update automatically. It really does give you incredible flexibility. That's great, Doc. I really like the look of this so far. Yep, but I know how you like fancy designs. So how about for some added flair that's pattern these fins? Now, it'd be pretty boring to use the same size, so in SolarWorks 2013, you can vary pattern instances just by selecting the dimensions you want to change. So, we can add as many parameters as we want. You know what, Doc? The increased integration and ease of use of these products is pretty amazing. You know
Thanks to this time machine, we don't have to wait till later this year.